Hey guys, this is week number six and I'm giving you a quick beard update. And uh, we're gonna talk about trimming the beard with scissors. Uh, I understand that not all of you may have one of these clippers or trimmers, um, but I want to encourage you to use what you have, whether it's kitchen scissors, um, or nice kind of barber scissors. I know all the barbers are gonna cringe when they see this, but look, we're in quarantine. We're stuck inside. Um, you know, if you're if you're staying inside, you're doing your job, and it might not be easy to go out and get a pair of these. So, but you have one of these probably sitting in your kitchen. So I'm gonna do half my face with one of these, and the other one with one of these, and I'm gonna show you how to do a quick trim. Uh, and as you can see, I think the um, the trim that I did last week is paying dividends because there is some shape to my beard. It looks good from far. Um, far from good, but looks good from far. So um, that's what we're gonna do today again because as you can see the mustache, it's really growing in there. It feels real heavy too. Uh, in fact, the whole my whole face feels a little bit heavier than usual. So I'm just gonna show you how to do a very, very minimal trim. And so all you wanna do is just comb your hair down naturally. You don't wanna, you don't wanna, okay, this is the other real important thing. You don't wanna brush it out and start cutting all those hairs that are sticking out because this is not a natural look for you. You don't leave the house um, with your hair brushed up. You leave the house with your hair brushed down and then you wanna clip away all the extra hairs. So, I'm gonna start over here. Very easy. The trick with scissors is to go nice and slow. And I know for a fact that you're gonna go really fast and I know for a fact that it's not gonna look good when you first do this with scissors. So, it's okay to screw up. Um, but we're gonna go anyways here. Nice and slow, nice and easy. You see that? Nothing complicated. like that okay you can don't forget the cheeks too it's really awkward just go one by one Just like that, nice and easy. So this side is pretty much done. I'm gonna do the mustache. Very, very, very minimal. I actually quite like the long mustache, but as you can see from the side profile, it's getting quite heavy. So I'm only gonna take a little bit off. That's it, that's all you gotta do. You'll save yourself a lot of pain uh, by going slow and taking just a little bit off. And even more importantly, this is kind of the stage where you start to decide um, or you begin to notice that it might be itchy. You might get sick of it. You might think it's not good enough. So you just go back to just shaving it off, um, but trimming, very, very small trims. Um, 
it's gonna make a big enough difference for you to keep going. Uh, it's gonna be manageable for you to look at yourself. Um, and uh, it's gonna keep you positive. So these little weekly trims are super important to keep you on track to growing a large beard. So the other tip is using your other hand keeps your hand steady. That's another tip. Oh, you know what? I cheated. I told you I was gonna use the kitchen scissors for the other side of that, of the face. So here we go. You can even do one of these. Nice and easy. Like that. There you go. set guys again be resourceful don't be afraid to try new things use what you have at the house and we'll see you in week seven you know what i forgot to do one more thing as you can see i've got those einstein brows Sadly, no Einstein brains though. So you can trim those too. I actually kind of like them long, but for the two, I'm just gonna trim that one there. There we go guys, see you in the next vid. Thanks a lot.